Today we're going to look at how to design envelopes for church programs and event organizations. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to look at how to design an envelope in Photoshop this is going to be a very simple one for you to understand it very easier so let's get started first you go to file and then you create a new document well I don't know the kind of size that you're going to use for your envelope but the standard one the DL one that I use in Photoshop is this one that is the DL 110 millimeters by 220 millimeters if you don't have it yet you just go to the international paper and at the size that is the last one DL you select that and then you click OK so you go to image since you're having it in the vertical form you go to image image rotation and then you rotate it either 90 degrees or 90 uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise so I go the clockwise way so this is the size that we're going to fill our envelope design on so Let's get the ball rolling. All right, so let's go and import a picture over here. I'm going to place, and then on desktop, I have this background that I'm going to place over here. So I place it on top of this. It fits just right there. But if you don't, you just have to stretch it by holding Shift and then Alt, and then you transform it uniformly like that. So I don't want this part, the right part of the background so what I do is I go to right click rasterize and then I go and select the whole of this place um, pro probably here and then I delete it afterwards I'm going to duplicate a file press ctrl T to rotate it or flip it horizontally and then apply and that is it so I have it over here it's just a matter of choice what you are using as your background and then you can just start off doing it like that now the next step that i'm going to use basically there are two approaches you can go the normal rectangle over here what we're going to do is we're going to draw a white or a rectangle over here and then we're going to change it to white so this is basically serving as the background to our envelope that is it that is the whole idea but if you have a different idea, you just use that one. Okay, so what I prefer to use is the rounded rectangle. And then you can draw like this to see the edges. So I think 50 is okay. So I'm going to draw 50 over here like that. And then I'm going to change the color to white. So I pick white over here. And then I press Ctrl A to select all, place it or align it vertically and then align it horizontally so it is just in the middle of the whole thing okay so from here we're going to input all the informations the necessary information that we need on this envelope so let's go for the test tool and then we are going to start to type over here so I'm going to use my church basically they have no idea I'm doing this um, but then I'm doing it so uh, let's go for this so after you've typed the first test you have to position it in the middle always use the align horizontal to make sure that it is right in the middle and then you can transform it anyhow you want it so you can make it either big or small that is your own choice and then you press ctrl j to duplicate it and then we are going to edit this one too Okay, so afterwards, I can decide to make both of them like here. I select the two of them and then I decrease it a little bit more. So I place it right over here. The next thing that I'm going to add is the logo. So I saved the logos over here. Let me open it right here. And then this is the first. That is the national um, logo for Methodist Church Ghana. And then I'm going to transform it and place it over here to make sure you have all your logos if you are using let's say two logos 
or you are duplicating this to the other side to so make sure you have all the logos at the right place yeah you can make use of the rulers over here you drag this one down and then you drag the other one also over here just to make sure that in case you go and bring this one that is the next one here it will be on line with the first one that you brought in so that is the whole idea of making sure that you have your logos aligned at the right places and that is it okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add more test to this one i might be fast forwarding a lot of this because i know you understand a whole lot of concepts about testing So we duplicate this one again. It's just a matter of duplicating the test. You just create one test and then you'll be duplicating it a whole lot of time. That that's why I've been fast forwarding this area. So to there, I'm trying to make this very simple. To there, I don't want to be adding so many things to make this very long. I believe you understand the concept. So here we're going to create the main event, the exact thing that we are doing this. Um, envelope you are designing this envelope for so in this case you can go two different way just my idea you can also use a rectangle over here that is you draw a rectangle like a huge one that is if you want to make it like you separate it from the rest of uh, the background like that so you can use this approach or better still you can just use test i prefer the test way so let's say uh, you are doing an annual harvest and then thanksgiving right so basically you can go the test way and then you choose a font that will be very bold for everyone to see for example impact over here is very bold or a vertical insert i'll put them in the link uh, in the description so you just check them out okay so we are done with this one and then we center it also so over here you can decide to add a couple of few um, edits to this you don't want to make it very plain so you can choose something like the bulge over here and then you decrease the size like that oh this is weird so like here you just try to bend it a little bit let's say this is okay and then let me open it the more so that it just differentiates a little bit and then also you can go to the blending options to add a couple of gradients overlay i have this gradient overlay over here and then you can change the angle from this side you just apply some twigs to this and then you drop some shadows and then some outer glow just to make it pop out right and then you click ok when you are done now the next thing that you are going to do is basically your time date and then the rest so you can also make a duplicate of this same test and then you edit that one to let's say time next we want to add a couple of things so i choose the rectangle tool and then i draw a rectangle over here and then i change the color to black like that and then i decide to make sure that it is in the center over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate my test again i'm duplicating too much right okay so i'm going to add the theme so let's say um theme over here and then um let us rise and build and then you can position that one over here but then let's try to make this one um, semi bold like that okay so the last thing that we are adding to this are the rsvp the officiating ministers or stuff like that so that one too you can select a test and then let's say um uh, first name here and then into brackets you're going to put let's say the president that is um in my association we have the president and then the vice and staffs the secretary so the officiating minister so if you are doing this for a church you can basically use the pastor secretary 
and any other names that would most of the times these are given to you by the client so you don't have to worry and then we duplicate it and make sure that we have it three over here so in order to make sure that these are very aligned what i do is most of the times i group the three that is the names i group them and then i press ctrl a to make sure that they are all aligned so you see from here to that place and here to that place they are all the same so that is it that is the fair idea of how to design an envelope for your church these backgrounds you can remove them anytime you want and then even if you can add a solid color let's say like this one any anything anyhow you want to actually do this let, let me try to use a, a plain background so this is also another style you can use a plain background a solid color or you can use any other background you deem appropriate thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and i'll get back to you with another one it's innocent here bye